This video provides basic guidance on configuring the eye racing graphics settings for monitors. VR users should refer to the VR optimization guide on the eye racing forum. When configuring triple screens, select three flat screens. The eye racing curved screen option is best for single ultra wide monitors. The settings in the left hand column have a significant impact on CPU overheads. If you have an older CPU, choose modest settings. Let's start from the top left. Sky slash clouds, when racing our focus should be on the cars and corners rather than the sky. A medium setting gives pleasant results that are not onerous for the PC. High detail is a good option for viewing replays and making YouTube videos. Cars, we always want to see pretty cars, set this to high. Pit objects and event and grandstands, set to high for good immersion. If you have an older CPU lower settings may be required. Crowds, the difference between medium and high is the backside of people is painted. We can't see the backside of the crowd so medium is a good option to save some CPU overhead. Objects, generally set to high if you have a modern and fast CPU. Stuttering and FPS drops, at newer tracks, can sometimes be improved by lowering this setting. Particles, full resolution and soft, these settings control dirt and smoke effects. They can be onerous for older CPUs. With a modern fast CPU, high detail and full resolution and soft look great. This can cause significant FPS drops when doing donuts on a road track. Max cars, set to 64. This only controls receiving data on the other cars within the race. This data is not onerous and is needed for leader and relative boards. Draw cars and draw pits. These are onerous settings which should be configured with regard to the performance of your PC and practical considerations. The more cars and pits you are drawing the more workload for the PC. Mirrors are very high overhead, the more content you draw in the mirror the more overhead on your PC. From a practical point of view, it is not useful to see more than 20 cars around you and more than 8 cars in the mirror. So 20 slash 8 is a practical race setting which lowers the overhead on your PC, 20 cars or pits and 8 in the mirrors. You can set this higher for replays where you want to see all the action. Dynamic LOD FPS, LOD stands for level of detail. When the in-game FPS drops below this setting, the game will reduce graphic details in an attempt to keep the FPS higher. If you set this to a low value like 60, it won't be able to help maintain a good FPS. LOD World, this setting controls the LOD behavior for content other than the car. If you don't want the game to vary the level of detail you can turn this setting off. Using World Plus Minus Max can cause large swings in level of detail, objects appearing and disappearing. World Minus Only is a good setting for visual stability. World Plus Minus Medium or Minimum are good settings to help maintain FPS without dramatic swings in detail. LOD Cars I normally have LOD cars set to off as I always want cars to be drawn with maximum detail. If you have an older CPU and need to reduce overheads to ensure good FPS, use the above car setting to reduce the detail to medium or low. However that is likely to return poor visual results. A CPU upgrade should be considered. Frame rate, I don't recommend using the no limit setting, it causes a very high CPU workload and can result in stuttering. The best setting is 4 FPS less than your monitor refresh rate. My monitor refresh rate is 120 Hz so I set the frame rate to 116. This limits the workload while also ensuring low latency between steering slash pedal inputs and visuals. Max GPU memory to use, this is an important setting, iRacing needs GPU memory to give the best visual results. If your GPU card has more than 8 GB of memory, set this slider to maximum. If your GPU card has less than 8 GB of memory, set this slider to 1.5 GB less than the amount of memory on your GPU card. Max system memory to use. This setting does not control how much memory our racing will use. Its purpose is to tell Windows how much memory iRacing possibly could use and in turn minimize paging of the iRacing process. 
ideally your PC should have 16 GB of memory, or more. Set this slider to maximum. The settings in the middle column have a significant impact on both the CPU and GPU overheads. Anisotropic filtering, the default setting is 16x. 8x can be used on lower spec PCs. AA samples, this is an onerous setting. This setting controls the eye racing anti-aliasing which reduces jagged edges. The default setting is 8x which works ok on modern CPUs and GPUs. Older PCs will benefit from a reduced setting like 4x or even 2x. Render dynamic track entire data. These settings are on by default and this works well on modern PCs. Older PCs may see small FPS improvements when turning these settings off. Shadow maps, this is an onerous setting. From a practical point of view, looking at shadows while racing means you are not focusing on the driving. I would recommend turning shadow maps off for racing and on for replays. Modern PCs with a high-end GPU can normally handle shadow maps on and object self-shadowing. The dynamic objects is the setting that causes a huge overhead and negatively impacts the FPS. Keep dynamic objects off unless you have a 3070 or better GPU. Night shadow maps, this is an onerous setting. I would recommend turning night shadow maps off for racing and on for replays. Keep the number of lights low, 3 is a good setting. Dynamic cube maps and fixed cube maps, these are very onerous settings. I would recommend setting these to zero as the visual results are not worth the performance overhead, especially when racing. Shader quality, this is an onerous setting but is important for visual quality. High is a good default setting. Ultra is fine if you have a modern PC with a high-end CPU and GPU. Medium is a good setting for older PCs and still looks okay. If you have to use low to get better performance, consider a PC upgrade. The settings in the right column have a significant impact on the GPU overheads. Show steering wheel or arms. This setting is a matter of personal preference. I find it odd that people want to see the steering wheel on screen when you are holding a real steering wheel. Generally I would set this to hide for racing and arms for replays. There are a few steering wheels within iRacing that have a digital data display, it makes sense to have that visible. Two pass trees, higher overhead. On for high-end PCs, otherwise off. High quality trees, an onerous setting. Generally turn this off as the FPS overhead is too high for little or no visual benefit. This setting only impacts tracks using the new speed trees. Hungaroring is currently the only track using speed trees. Cockpit mirrors, an onerous setting. Mirrors are high overhead, the more mirrors you display the lower the FPS will be. Best option is to only use two side mirrors and the virtual mirror, that's all you need for racing. Higher detail in mirrors, an onerous setting. Best to have this off unless you have a 3070 or better GPU. Headlights, set to high on high-end PCs otherwise medium. Headlights on track in mirrors, an onerous setting. Best to have this off unless you have a 3070 or better GPU. Virtual mirror FOV, this is a matter of personal preference. I find the default setting makes the cars look too small and further away than they really are. A setting of 80 to 90 is preferable. Motion blur, a very onerous and distracting setting. I recommend leaving this off. Anti-aliasing, an onerous setting. FXAA is fast with moderate overheads. SMAA is higher overhead with better quality, best for high-end PCs. Sharpening, this is not an onerous setting, on or off is a matter of personal preference. HDR, an onerous setting. Off for higher and more predictable FPS. This mostly impacts the appearance of the sun and bloom effects. Distortion, an onerous setting. Best to have this off unless you have a 3070 or better GPU. Heat haze, a very onerous setting. The effects are very cool, heat and flames from exhausts. 
The workload overheads are high. Best for high-end PCs. SSAO, an onerous setting. This enables space ambient occlusion. Most people would not notice these effects so the high overhead is not worth it. Off for racing and on for replays if your PC can handle the overhead. Video Mem Swap High Resolution Cars This is a very old setting used when GFX cards had very limited memory. Turn this off if your GPU has 4 GB or more memory. 2048 by 2048 car textures You want this on to get the best car paint resolution. Hide car numbers, this is only used when you are running a custom number paint, otherwise off. All of the iRacing settings can be configured within the iR Sidekick Profiles program. This program makes it very easy to configure triple screens. This program has three useful graphics presets named Faster, Standard, and Pretty which configure all settings for you. This program makes it possible to have multiple profiles and easily compare setting differences between profiles. The video description contains download, Discord and YouTube links for this program.